don't know if I should be accepting these sort of gifts from a weird looking alien. Hey guys, Ian here, Breadstick Gaming TV, and uh, welcome to part two of this uh, Half-Life 2 walkthrough. So, if you remember from last time, uh, we just got started, uh, got the hazard suit, we uh, got our favourite weapon, the, uh, the crowbar, and picked up a, uh, a pistol from the combine. Took a few of them down, and now we're, uh, we're ready to continue, so uh, let's get on with this. I suspect we can't get through the door, so uh, it's time to drop into the rather pleasant water. Nice. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't recommend drinking it, that's for sure. So the physics on this for the water was always a bit... wasn't great. I used to bounce around quite a lot and not really go in the direction you always wanted to. I mean it wasn't bad for the time. I think things have got a lot better now on uh, modern gaming but... Uh, yeah, where I was saying in the last episode that the physics engine was really good, and on the whole it really was, but at times, uh, and uh, you'll see later on in the game as well, some of the gameplay uh, when you're interacting with other characters can be a bit frustrating. Good God! Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by. This is the free man. The combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the underground railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Okay. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Don't know if I should be accepting these sort of gifts from a weird looking alien, but you know, desperate times and all that. We really can't afford to get noticed. So the action catches you down here, it's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same history. So the Vortigaunts were uh they have also been uh, enslaved by the Combine uh, and uh, they found their way to Earth and they're now working with uh, Gordon and the Resistance and uh, Mankind to try and uh, defeat the Combine on Earth. So, uh, weird looking dudes, uh, got some uh, interesting... Oh, okay, I'm explaining. Uh, some interesting powers and uh, you'll see them throughout the game. So very common in Half-Life, uh, your path through is never, never straightforward. God, he's bossy, isn't he? Can't get through there. Down here. Always uh, worth uh, exploring around because there's lots of uh, secret hidden different parts. So trusty crowbar. Whoops. Glad I'm a structural engineer, so I knew that wouldn't land on my head. You get used to a lot of crouching and uh, said, uh, these dudes uh, are interesting. They, uh, I can't remember their names, but they uh, have this long tongue thing that hangs down. And uh, if you get in the, under it, they will start to uh, lift you up and start to tr and then they'll start to eat you, uh, causing you some serious damage. It must be used as a bit of a makeshift elevator if you ever need it, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you. So this is sort of what happens, and then you can give him a bit of a shot. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Okay. 
Where's that coming from? Oh, hello. Oh, this ain't going well. Okay, so up front we got a guy uh, with a machine gun. Take it out really quick. So usually the best tactic with these is just to, uh, if you've got no heavy weaponry yourself, is just to run for it. So which is what we're going to do. Sound good. Station eight, are you there? We have confirmed the force of man pack. Repeat, they're filling the underground with man hacks. Uh man hacks, we'll get to those. Protection. Now we got the machine gun. Okay, time to get out of the way. So we now got a uh, armored vehicle with some really heavy weaponry. Again, best tactic, just get the hell out as quickly as you can. I suspect we're going to get hit at again. Whenever you see the lambda signal uh, symbol, that is probably something that we can. So try, try to avoid the, uh, I have to look up uh, what they're called, uh, but sometimes you do have to shoot them because um, their tongues are blocking the path directly. It's really not worth wasting ammo on them if you, if you really don't have to. That station was raided, but there's others up ahead. Okay. Stay here in case any others come through. Probably Thank best. You railway alive. Yeah, you didn't look like you uh, you would do well in a firefight. Let's put it that way.
Okay, so it seems to be no obvious way through. Uh, combiner up top. Oh, they're dropping barrels. So it's just you're gonna take some damage, so just try and stay as far out of the way as possible. Okay, they've blown the door for us. Civil protection. They really are after us, aren't they? Dudes. Uh. Any more? Are we, are we good? Not more. some barrels over towards them. So they can uh, get some of these. So we can sneak through. If we can. Probably. He didn't fare too well. Looking a bit, uh, hmm, a bit decayed. Oh, I think this is going to be more trouble. There we go, more barrels. Just try and stay out of their way. Okay, let's just try and get through this. Barrels Get shot at. You see, everything ramps up pretty quick. Whoops. Where are they? Where's this person? Where are you? over there. Headshot. Drop down here. Oh, what was that? Obviously, hit some sort of mine or uh, Oops. 
Oh, there's a barrel. Didn't see it. So, you know, whenever you can, just try and use the uh, the environment, the barrels, and uh, when we get to uh, later on in the game, there's some. Uh, you, get to, you get to use the environment in a whole new way. Okay, so this is uh, an example of uh, in Half Life, there's lots of little puzzles and things that you have to do. So, we need to get up above this wall but there's no way even in my uh, even in my suit I'm not going to be able to do that so we've got a bit of a seesaw here so we need to weigh the seesaw down so uh, it's pointing up the other way so though what we can do is start to pick up some of these bricks and then load them up at the end of the seesaw So when Half-Life uh, 2 was out, I mean, there were rather shooter games, but you didn't really have to do, it wasn't so much, you know, this just working out, puzzles, things to do, so it's not a straightforward journey through uh, Half-Life 2. Other games that were out, you know, things like Doom and Quake, and at the time were very much a traditional sort of like first person shooter type games you know, a bit of a story but really wasn't that important it's more about get up there it was more about just uh you know shooting things and this you know uh, there's a big aspect of that <clears throat> but you, know, you got the, the the overriding story going through it and you know you had to think a bit trying to get through some of the I get up there no trying to get through you know, some of the obstacles that are in your way it wasn't just a case of oh just I go here and I go there it's like okay how do I uh, for instance get up this wall so let's see if we can make it no let's try that again I remember this for when I, uh, I mean I've played this game about, through about four or five times now. I haven't played it for a while but I always remember, damn, this was, is there another brick somewhere? Uh, there we go. So, this isn't straightforward, this game. I always remember this was a bit of a, I don't know if my bricks has fallen off. Let's try again. Oh, damn you! Is there another brick? My bricks are on there. There's one up here. Can I get up here? Go on, you can make it, Gordon. Power those legs. Push, push, push. Probably just need to time this really well. Okay, let's go again. Yes! And we're up. There we go. Just need all the bricks and just need to time it. Now, now we got a helicopter. Okay, probably gonna have to just make a run for it. Sound good. Past him, sneak past. Get in there. Okay, so at this stage of the game, when you get 
like that um, armoured vehicle before and now a uh, helicopter. There is nothing you can do. Get out of it. Drop it. You just have to run for it and uh, try and find some safe haven. We'll get to taking down helicopters later on in the game, but at the moment, not a chance. Health. Really needed that off that uh, barrel. Took me out. Get around here. Yeah, because any sane person would wander into a dark tunnel filled with water that's got a corpse in it. Any of you saw this in real life, you'd be straight in there, wouldn't you? I don't think so. Okay, let's push some of these barrels down. Can do if we can time this right. Uh, come on, get them to take that up. So all those ones were taken out by the barrel, barrel bombs, as I'm going to call them. Probably not the right name, and then we'll take one of these down here, and then we're going to try and sneak past. There we go. Oh, oh helicopter. So you know, you know. So using little tactics like that, firing the barrel bomb down. Uh, you can then conserve your ammo. Use it on the, the enemies you really need to use it on. Same tactic again. Down there. Take me out as well. Hang on, I'm just going to go back and uh, get some help. I mean, I've been playing this game for, you know, I've played this game a few times and uh, even I still make rookie mistakes. Uh, middle one. Sneak through. No. Okay. Bring it through. Oh, I get a feeling he's out there. So it's good to have a quick look at the environment, see if we can figure out where we need to go. It might need the crowbar. Got it. Ah, wrong way. Uh, I think my time might be up fairly quick. Get through. Okay, sorry guys, back with you in a sec. Okay, right, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, turned right when I should have turned left, so let's see if we can. Uh... Ok, 
Okay. Cup some health, some more ammo. Sorry, a few uh, a few rookie mistakes there. I don't remember. It's been a few years since I played it, so uh, you have to be, bear with me while I make a few uh, screw ups on the way. Quick. Get in here, hurry. Civil protection is on to us. We're turning up the railroad, covering our tracks. Looks like you're gonna be the last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Uh they are. Stand a chance. All right. Calling in every CP unit in City 17. Ah, they don't know who they're messing with. Flooding areas up ahead with manhacks. You better get going before they sweep through here. Oh shit! Too late. Okay, manhacks. These are. Nasty little blighters. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. It isn't safe here. I'll give you some supplies to keep you going. You really got to go. Okay, so... Sorry, mate. We're just going to steal all your supplies. And just get that for soup. Okay, we're good. Thanks. Okay, more man hacks. So these things are nasty. Cut through anything. the barrels. That could have been nasty. So uh, yeah, throughout the game is all like little, so you have to be really conscious of your environment and loads of little problems. <laughs> yeah, like you don't want to be uh, Anywhere there, when uh, when that when that all work, when that all goes off. Vent here that we, uh, that we probably want to have a look through. Going through. 
worth finding all the little vents and stuff. You can usually find some good supplies. Pressure building again. Oh, okay, so we've picked up a machine gun. So things are getting better. And then once we start getting to these weapons, they got secondary weapons as well. So, with this uh, funky music in the background, I think we'll leave it there for today. Uh, so, we're still making our way through City 17. Uh, more combine, saw some man hacks. Uh, starting to see some of the heavy artillery that the uh, the combine have. So, uh, yeah, armoured vehicles, helicopters, it gets worse, trust me. And uh, you can see as well, you know, it's not straightforward getting through. So, but much much more of that to come and you know this just gets tougher and uh, enemies get harder and the gameplay gets more exciting so uh, yeah again we're only just starting to delve into this but yeah there's a lot 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 more to come so if you uh, if you enjoyed this video please give me a like uh, and if it's the first video you've seen of mine um, then please think about subscribing but uh, that's everything for today I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll be back again soon cheers bye